Hey guys, so this video is sort of an improvement meme like what you see on DeviantArt all the time where someone takes an older picture and they redraw it and it's always better because people always improve over time even if it's just the very slightest improvement or maybe you don't see a visual improvement but maybe you were able to draw faster there's just always some kind of improvement so I'm redrawing a Vanellope picture I did in November of 2012 and I mean that picture was never that good to begin with but like, I feel like that's not a good representation of my skill level at that time because that picture was not up to par with my other drawings at that time. And it was weird because I was trying to draw a 3D character and I was trying to draw it sort of in that style, but it did not work. No, it had this horrible face, horrible jelly bean eyes, all lopsided, and it just looks freaky. It's freaky. You'll see it at the end of the video. If you stick to the end, I do a side-by-side -side comparison of this new one versus the old one. So yeah, but before I talk about the art some more, I'm gonna address something a lot of you are probably thinking of right now, like, uh, what the heck? Her username's not Bailey Creations anymore, it's Bailey J. Yes, okay, I gotta explain it. I gotta explain it. I explained it in the vlogs already, so this might be a little redundant for some of you, but basically when I started this channel, I wanted my username to be Bailey J, but it was already taken. And that was before the days of Google Plus, and so you couldn't just make any username you wanted. So I had to pick something else. And I knew it sucked because I wanted my name, but I didn't want to go first name, last name because people's names change. Like if I ever got married, my name would change. And so I just, I didn't want to do last name. So I decided to go with first name, middle name, which is Bailey J. But yeah, like I said, it was taken, so I was so upset about that, but I ended up going with Bailey Creations. It just came to mind because when I used to make birthday cards as a kid, I would always hand make my cards. And on the back, I would have a little logo that said Bailey Creations, just kind of like my own little brand of birthday cards, I suppose. And so I was like, hey, I can go with Bailey Creations. It's that name I made up as a kid, it's cool, whatever. So I went with that and I really liked it at first, but I didn't realize how many people out there have usernames that end in creations and it's just like it could be their name then creations or some kind of noun in creations like a type of craft creations it's just oh you know it, it's too common and I don't know I feel kind of stupid being like oh Bailey creations I don't know and I'm not making fun of anyone whose last name or whose username is something creations I just felt like it was too common for me and I mean, Bailey J is not a one-of-a-kind name, but it's just, it's my name, you know? It's not a nickname, it's an actual real name, and I feel like that's better for myself as an artist to just use my real name, not a nickname. Although, again, there's nothing wrong with nicknames, it's just, I felt like Bailey J is better than Bailey Creations for those reasons. So, I decided to switch it up. It was scary, because I'm like, man, I'm almost, I'm almost at 70,000 subscribers. I can't just be changing my name all willy-nilly, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have this channel for years to come, so why not change it now? Five years from now, I'll look back and be like, dang it, why didn't I just change it? So I'm just going with Bailey J. That's gonna be what I'm known as. I've actually already changed my username on all my social media websites. So Twitter is Bailey underscore J, um, Instagram's Bailey underscore J, and then for Tumblr and DeviantArt, it's Bailey dash J because Bailey J with no space was already taken everywhere, which is a little sad, but oh well. And Facebook still says Bailey Creations because I'm in the process of getting it switched over. There's a 14 day waiting period, so I just have to wait on that. And then Twitch TV is still Bailey Creations because I can't change it. And they might enable a username changing feature in the future, but yeah. And these are not new accounts, guys. I just changed my username on my existing account. So if you are already following me, you're still following me. It's just a different name. So don't worry about that. And so yeah, I now go by Bailey J instead of Bailey Creations. So that's cool. But you can't go to youtube.com slash Bailey J because like I said, that username is taken. So my channel is still youtube.com slash Bailey Creations if you want to find it that way. Or you could just do a YouTube search for Bailey J and it'll come up. So either way brings you to my channel. So yeah, I'm Bailey J now. <laughs> okay, I will go on now, I guess, to talking about the artwork some more. So, in the original one I did, I didn't do a background. She was sitting on a candy cane and then there was no background other than that. So obviously the background's gonna make it look nicer, but ignore that and this one's still a lot better. 
So I used my pencil crayons slash colored pencils for the background just because I didn't trust myself to do that with Copics. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do colored pencils. Oh my God, I actually started to say colored pencils instead of pencil crayons. <gasps> you guys are converting me. Ah! <laughs> so anyway, I used my pencils for the background and I used my jelly roll pen to add those little white dots and stuff. And then for Vanellope herself, she is mainly Copic marker with some pencil detailing. And one thing I did differently too is I really did a lot of detail in her hair in the inking stage because her hair is black and so there needs to be, the darkest parts need to be black. And I thought it would just be way easier to use the multi-liner to do that instead of the marker because I can just get finer lines and more detail. So I did that, it took a really long time, but I actually really liked the result. And by the way, the line art is available for you guys to color. I posted it to Facebook, Twitter, DeviantArt, and Tumblr. It's just the black and white image of the line art. And you can take that picture and color it either digitally or you can print it off and color it on a piece of paper. Whatever you want, it's there for you guys to color. I just thought I would make it available for you guys because that'd be kind of fun. And the only thing I request is there is a little watermark. I just ask that you don't remove that. Just leave it there so people know that I did the line art. But you can post it on DeviantArt. You can make YouTube videos of you coloring it, whatever you want with it. So it's free for you guys to use. And I think it'd be cool to do more of that in the future. So I don't know. Right now I don't have a ton of spare time to do a bunch of free line art stuff. But hopefully in the future I'll have more time. So let's see here, where are we at? Oh, her hair is colored in right now, but I went back later and darkened it because it just looked too gray. It didn't look like someone with black hair, it looked like someone with gray hair, which is kinda, that was a problem my old picture had too. I look back on it and I'm like, ugh, I didn't really darken their hair enough. And hmm, what else shall we talk about here? The background, yeah, I chose the sort of chocolatey Coke bottle background, pink, pink clouds, and there's a little bit of turquoisey in the sky so I just love that color combination so I'm like yep I'm making that the background it was very very time consuming using the pencil crayons <laughs> one thing that's different between this one and the old one is in the old one I colored her skirt black because I didn't realize it was supposed to be brown I don't know because I'm pretty sure I drew it after I saw the movie but for some reason in my memory I was thinking it was black but it's actually brown because it's like a Reese peanut butter cup type of thing so this one I made sure to make it brown and yeah I just I don't know this one's overall better the face shape the eyes I kind of like the way I drew the hair better I don't know overall I think it's better you'll see the side-by-side -side comparison you look like, oh, oh. <laughs> so it's it's quite a big difference um but yeah I don't know what else to say about the picture itself but good news is I no longer work six days a week I now am back to working five days a week, which is awesome. So I'm hoping to get a little more back on track with my YouTube videos because I hate leaving long gaps between videos. I really wish I could do one every seven days on the dot, but I can't guarantee that. So there's no way I'm setting up a schedule, but uh, I'll try a lot harder to do that for you guys. So in terms of upcoming videos, I'm putting my next How to Train Your Dragon picture on hold for now. Um, just because I didn't want to do it this time around because I didn't want back-to-back -back How to Train Your Dragon videos because I did Astrid's Braid, then I did Hiccup, and I was like, okay, we need to do something different. But now I'm all excited and I want to do Big Hero 6 fan art. I still want to do Wild Style from the Lego movie. There's just so many things in my mind. I don't know what's coming next and what order things are going to appear in. So if you're waiting for more How to Train Your Dragon stuff, don't. Don't wait for it. Don't count on it because I don't know when's happening what. But yeah I'm just all over the place right now and I just do stuff on a whim I'm like hey I'm gonna draw this and that's how it ends up going all right so now we're at the end and I'm showing off my little picture I'm actually pretty pleased with how it turned out I think it's a lot cuter than the old one and the background just really pulls it together and makes it more complete so pretty happy with it I had a hard time finding colors to shade her teal though that was a little difficult so the shading's pretty light but I don't know it's nice so here's gonna be the side-by-side -side comparison whoa bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> so it's about a year and a half difference and that's yeah, the difference yeah thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video